Hi, I'm Jared Wojtovich, an automation engineer here with Minuteman Empire Automation Systems. Today, we're going to be going over the iPlus plugin from Azrael. Today, we're using an ABB robot. However, the functions and features should be the same regardless of what robot manufacturer you are using. But be sure to check the documentation before you do anything that you see here in this video to make sure that you are following the proper procedures for your specific iPlus plugin. So today we're going to be picking some M8 screws. However, this video will overview how to really leverage the iPlus plugin to perform whatever task you are really trying to perform with your process. So as you can see here on my, on my screen, I have the Robot Studio pulled up. This is the software that is used to control the ABB robot that we have here. Um, in the beginning, we just have some ABB specific commands, mainly setting up my acceleration, uh, opening my gripper and moving to my home position, as well as setting up the speed, the tool that I'm going to be using and the work object. Again, this lingo may be different depending on which robot manufacturer you are using. The first command that we're using here for our I plus plugin is in line 13, the I configure command. This is going to set up the IP address and the port since we are using TCP IP communication to our I plus controller this is going to be the port and the IP address that is going to communicate back and forth with the robot to get the data that we need to be able to pick our parts. The next command in line 14 is I stop. We want to stop production. So this is just kind of like a little trick that I like to use. So if I am in a production state, I'm running my robot and I want to stop and regain the control of the robot basically start from scratch. I want to stop production to make sure that everything is in order and where it needs to be before I actually run through and I start picking again. So I have in line 15, a wait command. It basically waits for a digital input that says, hey, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to start production. And then we actually, func we, we use the function in line 16, I start production and these numbers here correlate to the recipe that I actually wanna use to identify parts. Again, we have M8 screws here. So the I plus recipe ID that we're using here correlates to the M8 screws recipe that we have created in our I plus controller. So again, be sure to check your specific I plus documentation and ensure that this next step is required as well. So for ABB specific plugin, the system gives us an I pause Rob target. Essentially it's a variable that stores all of our data in terms of orientation and position of the point that we're actually trying to go to. So the I plus controller will recognize the X, Y, and angle of rotation of the part itself. However, it does not handle the Z height. So what I've done is I've taken my robot and I've jogged it over to the part and gotten the height that I need to be at to pick the part itself. I've then taken that value for that Z and plugged it into my I plus or my iPods Rob target itself. Again, per the documentation for the ABB specific iPlus um, plugin, it wants you to reorient the part 180 degrees about the X axis. So that is what line 18 is doing here. And then we leverage another iPlus function or iPlus plugin function in line 20 here. So prepare part is going to take an initial image and look to see if there are any parts that are available for picking. That means that it has passed the pick point, the blob analysis, the pick angle teaching, and then also the gripper geometry and the gripper bounds. It will then take that data and store it in a list if there are any available parts. If there are no available parts that are good candidates or able to be picked, it will then perform a vibration sequence and then look for more parts again. So in line 23, we are checking to make sure that we don't have any errors with our I plus controller. And then we call get part if there are no errors. So get part is going to do something similar to the prepare part, where if there are already parts prepared and I already have a list of data for my parts from the I plus con controller, I'm going to tear the data off essentially of that list and load it into my I pause Rob target. If there are no parts prepared, then I'm essentially going to go through the vibration sequence and take another image and find any parts that I can that are avail available for picking. So again, some more ABB specific stuff. I'm going to move 75 millimeters above my part, move down to my part itself using a fine point command. I'm going to close the gripper, 
move away 75 millimeters, and then go to my drop location, which is going to be this steel bin that we have here. So I'm first going to run through this and make sure that my system operates um, ideally in manual mode. And then after I make sure that everything is functioning properly, I'm then going to switch over to manual mode and perform the same tasks. So it looks like the part was picked up properly. Again, just making sure that the gripper comes over and is in the correct orientation. All right, so I have two successful picks there. I'm now going to switch over into auto mode and then have the system run in a full production state. So I'm going to click OK, make sure that my motors are turned on, change my program pointer back to the main task here. So what we should see is the robot should go to the home position and then wait for that digital input saying, hey, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to start production. So I'm going to press play here, system jogs over, and then once I trigger the virtual digital input, the system should then take an image and try to find the parts. So as you can see, we were able to successfully pick and place over into our bin. Thank you for watching today's video on the overview of the iPlus plugin. Be sure to check out Agile's documentation to make sure that you follow the proper steps for your robot specific manufacturer. And be sure to check the link down in the description for more Agile videos, as well as other products and technologies that Minuteman Empire Automation Systems supports. Thank you.